Space is Sims, and we are here with our new game that you voted for on Twitter. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should, because every once in a while we do game polls for what we're going to play here. Um, so, and that is obviously, as you've seen from the thumbnail, Chaos Child. So, I'm going to read you. We've had this game for fucking forever. And first up, I'm apologize if the sound is crunchy. I have done a million freaking tests. It seems like it's okay. But, like, I don't know what it is. Look, I don't know what is wrong with my capture card. It is just the worst. It's really fucking old. But you bitch ain't got the money to spend a couple hundred dollars to get a fucking new one. So we got to deal with the shit we got. Um, and I have sat here for, like, a half an hour messing with the sound, messing with the capture card, messing with my other recording software because I had problems with my capture card not like recording right and the sound was like really shit and I couldn't get it to work um so I had to use my other recording software that I normally record all of our other games with um to record you know so my capture card would go through and instead of using the Elgato software I use my regular recording software but for some reason if I okay if I have the Elgato software up and I'm running it sounds poppy and crackly and crunchy in my headset. But then when I play it back, the recording, it sounds fine. So I don't know. The Elgato software and my headset just don't want to work together. And it's not my headset. It sounds fine. Uh, it, when I play it back. It's just when I'm recording. So And the bird is very angry about that. Yeah, nobody asked you. But when I put in my other recording software and do it, I either can record with absolutely no sound. Like literally it doesn't even record me. No sound. Or I can switch and then I get sound, but then I can't record and there's no video. So I just I have no fucking idea. But I, it, and I, it always worked with the freaking switch and now nothing. Like, I don't know. OK, so this has been a fucking train wreck. So if the audio's fucked up, I'm sorry. I will check it back. I have done a million tests. It seems to be OK. But then the second you go to record, it's like, oh, it's not recording shit. <laughs> I can see my microphone moving from my voice. And like right now, there's no sound, so you can't hear anything. But. At any rate, so, Chaos Child, I'm going to bring up the little pagey wagey about this and just kind of read to you a little bit because the back of the game thing's not, you know, whatever. So, this is from the creators of the critically acclaimed Steins Gate comes a sensational new visual novel, Chaos Child. Set in Shibuya in 2015, a group of high school students who survived an earthquake six years ago find themselves at the center of a new series of bizarre murders in the city. Play as Takuru. I'm going to call him Takeru because I'm not used to seeing Takuru. I'm used to seeing Keru, not Kuru. And so I'm going to fuck that up. Just be forewarned. Don't fucking at me. Anyway. An arrogant senior who is the first to notice a pattern in the supernatural deaths around him. With the help of his friends, all saucer-eyed fucking girls. And like, I know that's like the art style, but like, you know, I'm just warning you now. I'm a bitch about the, how their eyes look like they're going to fall off their faces. Just, I'm just saying. I just... There's something about giant eyes that are the size of your head. If you watch me play Hakuoki, you know my feelings on this. They all kind of have eyes like that. It's going to probably drive me bonkers. But anyway. Uh, he goes to the crime scenes and hopes to discover the killer's identity before the police at his own risk. So, features. Discover a darker Japan. Explore Shibuya in 2015 after an earthquake nearly leveled the city. Hold on. The music is really loud in my ears because I'm, instead of listening through my headset, where it gets sounds crunchy and annoying, I'm listening to my TV, so I had to turn it down a little bit. So this is like weird. It's fine. Probably fine for you, but anyway. Oh, uh, we already read after an earthquake nearly leveled the city six years prior and try to outsmart the puppet master behind his new, beside, behind this new generation madness. Track down a serial killer. Play as Takuru, an arrogant senior and the newspaper club president, and discover the pattern in the series of bizarre deaths around you that the police can't seem to crack. Unravel the mystery. Investigate gruesome supernatural murders with a team of uniquely talented friends. Pick your delusions. Choose to explore disturbing nightmares or pleasurable daydreams to affect the different realities that Takuru perceives and change your story. See the bigger picture. Unlock six endings by changing the course of your team's investigations and relationships and understand the characters and plot in depth. And then there's beautiful ethereal artwork. I mean, you say that, but like when your eyes are the size of goddamn saucers and they're falling off your face, you're... You're not, you don't got me there, but whatever. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's that. That's all I got on it. That's just honestly from the actual like game page. So that is that. I'm going to just get back over here. So we are going to start. Oh, oh, actually, hold on. Configure. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. I don't know how to use my PlayStation controllers, okay? I'm always going to be hitting the circle, but, like, everything is fucked up on here. Tips information we want on. Whoops. Um. Why can't I? Wait, what the fuck? Why can't I go over there? Oh, I am trying to click select, but it's not letting me. I'm. Okay, wait, what? Enter? Okay. Text message skip. We want that off. Select delusion trigger. Wait, what does it mean, select delusion trigger? Don't I want that on? Why is that off? Skip release at delusion trigger. What? I don't know what any of that means! I mean, select delusion trigger. Well, I mean, it's like off, but like, I guess we'll leave it off. Are we? I don't understand. Anyway, message speed. Um. It's not letting me, like, actually do anything with this, though. We want message speed. I want it to go a little bit faster. Well, wait. Is it going to be, like, I'm not allowed to read it? Okay, we'll just put it there. Auto mode speed, yes. Skip mode is red only. Okay, that's actually what I want. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. God damn it. Okay. Now can we go back? Okay. Sound, voice volume. I think... I... Use speaker on all speaker volume. I'm just really fucking... The thing is, is if we have voices on, they're all going to be in Japanese, and then we're going to have to read, and you know I always turn the voices off. Um, Hold on. Why can't I really? This is really annoying the controls on this already. We're going to turn them off. The base game volume, the sound effect volume, the movie volume, that should be fine. I don't know what sync voices are. I don't know what that is. I guess we'll turn it off. Because I don't know what that is. Skip voice. On, I guess. Use speaker. Speaker volume, I guess. I Well, I think if we've turned all the voices off, we should be fine. Man, woman. Okay. Um, I normally do that first, but I wasn't really thinking that this... I wasn't really focused on the fact that there was probably voice acting in this. And we know we always turn it off. Just because, you know, when you're playing it on your own, it's different. When we're playing here, you know, whatever. Anyway, I am always going to hit the zero, the circle button. Because it's just, I feel like that's usually the confirm button, isn't it? Why, why is the PlayStation freaking dumb? Why? I don't like it. November 6th, 2009 AD, 10.28 PM. It came without warning. Isn't it usually the far, like that... I don't hear a damn thing. There literally is no sound right now. I hope it's not supposed to have sound. Okay, there we go. It's actually kind of quiet. It's really quiet. Could just be me. It was a magnitude 7.8 earthquake with an epicenter directly under the city. This disaster re reduced one of Tokyo's busiest downtown areas to nothing in a single night. Ooh, wow. The high-rise buildings that had birthed so many trends and fads collapsed as if giving up on their role in society. Black fires spread through the city as individuals fell into the grip of the crowd's uh, psychology. No, it is psychology. Okay, what? I don't know why that looked weird. Their terror was magnified. Combined, all of these things took many lives. Why does this look like a... Why did that... Anyway. The final death toll was 3,851. The final number of injured, 30,927. They got real specific. This event would later be known as the Shibuya Earthquake. Even in all that destruction, people still suffered the most in their hearts. Some who had lost their families came together to share the new resolve, while others who'd been forced to watch their friends die were driven by guilt to take their own lives. As a baby was miraculously reunited with its parents after 72 hours, a child in an evacuation shelter asked her dad, When's mommy coming home? He had no answer. Some of the wounded made it to hospitals by looking at real-time updates on the web. Others saw people on the internet talking about the disaster as if it were a movie, and were driven mad. A homeless man was saved from malnutrition by an organized volunteer group, 
But at the same time, a middle school boy punched a self-centered volunteer who'd come to Shibuya to find himself in the face. Or punched a self-centered volunteer who'd come to Shibuya to find himself in the face. It's just weird. It's just weird the way that's... Anyway, it was the first time in that boy's life he'd ever been violent. The psychological toll was incredible, and many of the survivors would later manifest symptoms similar to those associated with PTSD. Okay, wait. But that's like a, um... There's like a... Okay, hold on. No, I don't want auto. But... No. Whoops. Wait, 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 wait. Oops. Hold on. I skipped a thing by accident. Sorry. But, like, because how do you get to the log? Like, because PTSD was written there like it should have a thing, but how do you do that? It didn't tell me how to, like... Huh. Um... Like, I don't know how... It came up really quick, and then it's like, yeah, but how do I click the thing? None of the buttons worked. Anyway. The young were hit the hardest, and before long, the cause of those symptoms was given a name. Chaos Child Syndrome. Rebuilding happened at a feverish pitch never seen before. It felt inappropriate to say, hang in there, but people felt that somebody had to do something. I mean, that is... Okay, no, I just wanted to make sure we didn't miss anything else. Oops. The new slogan was Shibuya, a city reborn, and no amount of money or manpower was spared in aiding the endeavor. <laughs> the whole town was in the grip of a fever. In private, a leader of the redevelopment effort said, This may sound unkind, but this frenzy feels like a town bearing its grief by holding a festival. There's nothing wrong with festivals, dude. Building codes were rigorously evaluated with an eye toward earthquake engineering. Perhaps in an effort to emphasize the city's safety, security cameras were put up all over town. Shibuya would become a place where everyone could live in peace. I mean, okay, so, like, I find it interesting that before the earthquake, what we saw was, like, there was just, like, light beams. Earthquakes don't usually come with light beams coming out of the ground. I'm just saying. I mean, at least I don't think so. I... <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, okay, we have some weird, like magical murder things going on. Like, it seems like the earthquake, what, had, there's something more than just, it, it just, random natural accident. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. That's my hot take, but, but at the same time, a rumor began to spread about the earthquake. Something about this earthquake doesn't make sense. It's just the light beams! <laughs> okay, so we're all on the same page here. There were no aftershocks, and the damage had spread in a strange way. The light beams? Harajuku and Ibisu, areas only a kilometer away from Shibuya, suffered few casualties and even fewer collapsed buildings. Again, it was the light beams. This damage pattern had never been observed in any prior earthquake, and so... And so... Oh. And so more than a few pundits claimed the Shibuya earthquake must have been artificial. Supernatural. It was fucking ghosts. More than anything, some of the survivors all said the same things. I saw a white light. I mean, we did too. I heard a sound like a ringing in my ears. Too many people experienced this for anyone to laugh it off, but no cause of the phenomena was ever found. It was just more evidence to those who believed that something about the earthquake had been wrong. Then, six years after the strange earthquake in 2015... Something else was about to attract attention in the reborn city of Shibuya. The only thing about this that's kind of interesting is we're dude. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to normal voice it. But then all of his friends are girls. So that means I can actually use girl voices. If you're a god and the delusion becomes reality about what kind of the noids you get, is it, is it the sensual world? That is literally the word. Like, that was not translated well. <laughs> that is not translated well. September 7th, 2015, Sunday night. This is just man. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take three minutes for questions. Get to it. The second he spoke, the comment box started to fill. Yuma Otani watched it for a few seconds and then saw the request. When does Haru tell us she's dating somebody? He smiled to himself. Just what he wanted. Most of the requests were about hot actors or cute idols. His audience was so stupid that it was easy to tell exactly what they were going to ask. The problem was always whether the name that came up was someone he knew. 
That was a question of luck and how popular they were. Okay. But yeah, but okay, how do I get to that, though? Options? Oh, well, that's a tips list. Is that how we do it? But Haru, her full name, her full name was Haruko something or other. She was fine. Okay. Ah, here we go. I guess we just have to hit X. It's really weird. Or I mean, the options. It's really weird to hit options. Like every other game you hit, you click a button here or there. But I tried clicking it and then we, we were doing weird things. So. Ah. Okay. PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder from 4th edition of the DSMIV, or DSM-4, the American Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, Jesus, published 1994, caused by severe shock from experience... Hold on. Oh, R is to scroll text. Okay. Uh, caused by severe shock from experience in accident, disaster, crime, or other seriously traumatic event... This mental disorder causes any number of stress-related issues. Symptoms include psychological instability, insomnia, confusion, memory trouble, and other problems that last for over a month. Every fucking day when I go back to work. No! Wait. Oh. No, I Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to select, but it won't let me... Ah! I don't like this! Why will it not... I wanted to go to Acquired. How do I go over... Okay, I hit that button. I just... <laughs> Look, I have not used my PlayStation in years. I mean, literally, I don't think we've played a game in this in more than a year. Like, I... I can't think of the last time we played a game on this or the Xbox. So, like, getting used to the controls again is fucking weird. Why is every single game totally fucking different? Can we get... Because I just feel like an idiot. Anyway. Okay. We already read that. Fictional. Haruko Natsuno, 19 years old, a minor celebrity, became famous as a result of her bold declaration that no one her age knew as much about retro games and retro anime as she did, and her ability to back that declaration up on internet radio and live streaming programs. Wears glasses. Her plain clothes and hairstyle are said to be one reason she's popular, popular with otaku. Regularly holds recording of internet radio shows that are open to the public. She's probably one of the fucking characters that we're going to meet. I don't know. Um, and I'm just telling you, I'm going to click all the wrong things for the rest of this game. Because I, that's why I don't play games where we need quick time events. Because I'm like, where's the fucking triangle? And I can't fucking figure it out. Anyway. Okay. She was fine. Okay, anyway. Just a few days ago, he'd forced himself to go to an event he'd rather have skipped and seen it for himself. Okay. Satisfied, Otani got up to get some snacks, like he always did. He lived in a one-bedroom condo located eight minutes from Shibuya, Sta Shibuya Station. Why can't I talk today? Cost 150,000 yen per month. I'm, that's like $1,500 a month. Yeah. Kind of. I get, psh, there you go. That's my rent right there. It had been built after the earthquake, so the furnishings and layout were modern. Mine's not. I have mice. My cabinet doors in the bathroom have been painted over so much time you can peel them off with the wrap with like wrapping paper, and my shower's leaking, and my kitchen cabinets were just spray painted black, and they look dirty because it's not. It's just the paint slowly peeling, <laughs> flaking off every time you touch the doors. <laughs> Pay too much money to live in this fucking hellhole. But anyway. A little more room would have been nice, but compared to the 40,000 yen per month place he'd lived last year, it was heaven. Well. Next year, maybe I'll move somewhere more convenient. At 21 years old, Otani felt satisfied for the first time in his life. Really? Because he looks like 41 years old. I'm just saying. It's really weird. There was another game I saw and it was like, oh, you're the, it's the new Sherlock Holmes game that's coming out. I used to play all those, but nobody ever watched them. It makes me sad. But And it's like, you play as 21-year-old Sherlock Holmes, and I'm like, why does he look 41? Could you have made him look younger? He looks old. <laughs> I don't know why people do this. In fourth grade, he'd gotten big into online gaming and stopped going to school. Eventually, he'd stopped leaving his room altogether. In fourth grade? Then he'd gotten addicted to drugs that made him sleepy, but did nothing else. Once, seeing only darkness in his future, he'd planned to commit suicide. In the chaos after the earthquake six years ago, he'd finally managed to leave his room. 
But his family had already given up on him. He's still going to be like the first murder victim. This is what we're doing, right? Isn't that where we serving murders? <laughs> After he failed his entrance exams, he went to live in, on his own in Shibuya, and he hadn't spoken to his parents since. As far as they knew, he'd failed the exams three times in a row. In fact, he hadn't even gone to the tests after the first time. There wasn't anything he wanted to learn in college or any companies he wanted to work for badly enough. What the fuck is, how is he paying $1,500 a month for an apartment? He'd had no goal in life at all. Um, also have no goals in life either, except for to just, you know, survive. Huh. Okay, we have minor small goals, but it's not like, I have these big, wonderful goals. I'm going to save the world. Nah, it's too much effort. But things were different now. Maybe Achan does tell the truth sometimes. Oh, maybe Achan does tell the truth sometimes. Guess I'll have some cheese. I just really don't like how we have to hit options and go to the tips list to do this. I don't know why it just feels like too much. I feel like we should just be able to click one button and go here and not have to... But I must be, like, missing a button that I didn't hit. I don't know. Fictional. At channel. A huge anonymous message board that's the largest of its kind in Japan. Its catchphrase is everything from hacking to tonight's dinner. What if we want to hack tonight's dinner? Oh! Five minute crafts. And its boards contain comments on every topic imaginable. As of 2015, half of... Half of users, half of its users are in their late 20s to early 40s. And the age of the average user goes up every year. That's because the people using it don't stop. When they hit 40, they just keep going. The primary reason for this is believed that the younger users are switching to social networks. Well, yeah, because us old people don't know how to switch shit. I do like this feature, feature though. I like when you... And it does this, like, the cool background and then the, isn't a frame. I like this. I, I do, I do. I just like the... And then the whoosh, it's a it's nice, nice touch. I like it, but it is annoying that I have to click 15 buttons to get to the things instead of just clicking one, you know, where it would just bring that up instead of like click, 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 click. It's still a lie, you know, but. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have been reading that in tour guide spacey voice. That's how we read glossaries. Look, I've got, got how to do this shit. Okay, I haven't had glossaries in a while. At least I don't feel like we have anyway. He took a block of cheese he'd bought at the supermarket out of the fridge. Mm. Usually he never ate anything this cheap. Where is he getting all his money? Nikonia live streaming? But on Nik Nikonia live streaming? It wasn't just what you said. How you looked when you said it also mattered. Is there like... That doesn't work. Nope. No. Um... Yeah, I was just, I was hitting other buttons and I accidentally clicked ahead, so. Ah, uh, anyway. This is annoying, especially because they're going to give us so many tips every two seconds and like, okay, now we're going in here. And it's one thing if we just hit one button, but I don't know what button it is. I'd ask, I'd say if anybody knows, let me know, but by the time you see it's going to be six, we're going to be 30 parts in. Not really, but. Fictional, a live streaming service offered by Nico Nikonia, 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 whatever. Just like normal Nikonia vid videos, viewers can add comments into the video itself, and the streamer can see what the viewers are saying in real time. Nikonia offers official streams as well, and while after the site's founding, many of them were subculture related, lately they've now expanded into news, sports, politics, and economics. As of 2015, their lineup is a match for any major TV station. Okay. And... There we go. I, it skipped a lot. Usually he never ate anything this cheap. Sorry. I just, uh, it wasn't just what... Okay. Otani wasn't a good-looking man, let alone a cute girl. He was just a plain old guy, and so to keep his program popular, he needed to make them think that he was poor. Barely managing to scrape by, in fact. Rude! <laughs> That's why he kept the area around his PC and his parts of his apartment that you could see within his webcam completely plain. Last month, he'd finally reached his goal of 4,000 viewers. <sighs> if only. For a man with nothing going on for him... For a man going... For a man with nothing going on for him, like Otani, this was extremely unusual. Three months ago, he'd guessed the winners of a popularity contest a certain idol group was holding, as well as their total number of votes. That must have really paid off. After that, his numbers had been going up steadily... Late last month, when his streams had appeared at the top of Nikonia's page, he'd seen a huge increase. Oh my god, we really have to do this every single... We have... 
Oh, you just hit the trackpad. I hit that by accident. Okay, so the trackpad works. Figured it out. Yeah. Nikonia Video, fictional, Japan's largest video sharing service, often used to refer to the site that offers this service. Nikonia is unique for the way users, user comments can be embedded in the video directly. Many of its users are younger, and recently it has developed its own unique culture in the area of music. Yeah! Okay! <laughs> you just hit the trackpad! Look, I forgot the trackpad was a thing on my thing, okay? Like, I just... I never realized it has a fun... Like, I forget it has a function. Right now, we've gotten above 45... Although, the... Swoosh, 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 but we got to see that for a little bit, but it's annoying. Having to click, 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 but... Right now, we've gotten above 4,500, and it was quite possible he'd break 5,000 by the end of the month. Ugh. Jealous. Okay, this music keeps getting louder, and I keep having to turn... I hope it's okay for you. Like, I can't tell because, like, I have it coming into my TV, not my headset. Well, now there's no music, so it doesn't matter. It was around late last year when he'd started to wonder about his power. Oh. It was a certain rumor on one of At Chan's occult boards that made him really start to realize what he had. The name he'd chosen for his stream subtly reflected this. Then I learned that I could see the future. <laughs> That's not his voice. <laughs> Whatever. He took out a knife to cut the cheese. Ooh, knock on the door. There was a strange sound. He thought he just imagined it when... I mean, the sound effects are up. Knock, knock, knock knock. He heard it again. It was coming from the door. Someone was clearly knocking on his door. Huh? Jungle, maybe? Jungle! Fictional! An American online shopping site that's the largest in the world! I thought at first he was talking about a person. It was an American online shop, and it just, it, it took a little bit to say jungle. Amazon, the Amazon is a, well, it's a rainforest, but like, you know, okay. Funny. Okay, I get you. Wow. <laughs> it said that one in five internet users has purchased something from it. It sells books, appliances, food, clothes, anything you can, ma you can imagine is on sale there, quite literally. Suspicious, he walked toward the door to answer, then checked the clock. It was 11.41 p.m. Not exactly normal delivery hours. Hey! Like, Amazon Fresh delivers all the fucking, like, till, like, fucking midnight. Wait, he was streaming, but he walked away? He walked away from streaming? I mean, I guess if you're doing a long stream, like, peace out, I'll be back. Like, oh, come on, I'm streaming right now. That's not his voice. Why do I keep doing that anyway? I don't know. He tried to ignore it, but... Are they going to kill him on live stream? Oh, <gasps> cool. <laughs> Whoops. The knocking continued. It was the same rhythm at the same pace. As if the visitor's goal wasn't to come inside, but simply to make that sound. Creepy. Otani felt a bit creeped out. He decided to go to the intercom camera and see who it was, but then realized that would be pointless. Only the auto-locking door on the first floor had a camera. The door to Otani's room on the fifth floor had an intercom, but no camera. Otani gave up. Damn it. If you want something, push the intercom button. Knock. 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 It's the beating of your telltale heart. Maybe it's a drunk. No, the knocks were too steady for that. Yeah, and they usually try to open your fucking door and get in your house at one o'clock in the morning. Thank God you're awake and your door was locked because it wasn't locked earlier that day and that drunk asshole would have just walked into your house. That happened to me once. I'm sure I told you about it on the channel somewhere, unless this is your first time here. Hi! We suck at this, just FYI. Um, yeah, no, that was scary. I'm pounding on the door. Like, he was seriously shit-faced drunk, but... And I thought he was going to puke on my doormat. Which, you know, you think would have led him to realize that this wasn't his apartment. Unless he also has an owl doormat. But, I don't know. Meanwhile, his dog is like, bro, we don't live here. But that would have sucked, because I was awake... And, like, earlier that day, I must have gone out or done something and I forgot to lock my doors. And I went later on that night. I was like, oh, shit, my doors aren't locked. But if I hadn't checked, because I usually don't check my doors until I, like, every time I close the door, I lock both my locks. Like, lock them both. But, like, I just, I must have come in with bags, something, whatever, and just not done it and just forgot to go back. 
And I usually don't check until I go to bed and I was still up. So it was just random that I happened to check him a couple hours before and been like, oh, fuck, I didn't lock my doors or whatever. Because otherwise he would have just fucking walked right in. Bro, dude, like, I, he wasn't trying to, like, break in or anything. Dude was fucking drunk, had no idea where the fuck he was. But, like, yo, dude, scary as shit. Anyway, and there was no voice yelling at him to open up. I'm, again, he wasn't yelling to open up, but he was just, like, falling down around the door. Like, dude could barely stand. I don't know how he managed to walk downstairs from whatever building he happened to live in and walk his dog. This is all I'm saying. Because he literally went to the wrong apartment and was trying to get into it. So he was that fucking drunk. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> He'd seen the seen this door a million times, but suddenly it looked somehow different. Somebody he didn't know was on the other side of the wall, demanding entry in the middle of the night. Somehow this made the doors seem intimidating. Otani thought he might look through the peephole to see who was outside. He was then disgusted to find himself too scared to even get close to the door. Wait, the intercom didn't have a camera, but it did have a microphone. He turned toward the living room so he could use the intercom to find out what they wanted. I don't know who's saying this. Otani, it's me. Sorry to come by so suddenly. He stopped when he heard that voice. It's me. I'm very sorry to bother you at this hour. Otani tried to remember who the speaker was, but found he couldn't. But from the tone of the voice and the words, they probably weren't a weirdo. Probably! When they said, I'm sorry, it sounded like they really meant it. I'm sorry, could you let me in? I have to murder you now. I'm just saying, I feel like he's about to die. Don't open the door, bitch, no! Otani sighed softly with relief and then realized he was still carrying the knife he'd been using to cut cheese. Mm, don't put it down. It suddenly felt stupid to feel so nervous. He quickly laid the knife on top of the sink. Unless it's someone that can mimic voices. Oh my god, it's an alien. Don't answer the door. Right, right. I'll open it now. Who is it? It's me. Don't you remember? The voice simply repeated itself. But who are you? Otani, uh, Otani whispered to himself as he opened the door. I said that too loud, but whatever. No, don't. Don't. Otani narrowed his eyebrows at the people standing there. The people! He looked them up and down and then looked at their faces again. Their eyes met. Who are you guys? You see that rainbow flash? He dead now. Otani suddenly felt a piercing headache. Oh, they fucking, like, men in blacked him! <laughs> with the little flashy thingy. Otani closed his eyes and put his right hand up to his temple. Oh, he dead. He could feel the blood pounding in his veins through his fingers. Or they just, like, mind-possessed him and he's gonna be killer, the killer. I don't know. He staggered and quickly put his other hand against the wall to keep from falling over. The pain was like the old days when he do overdosed on antidepressants, but much more intense. Ugh. He grit his teeth again against the pain and dug his nails into the wall that was holding him up. As he waited for the pain in his fingertips to help dull the pain in his mind... It's pretty intriguing so far. Mr. Otani, are you okay? He heard a voice he'd heard many times before and felt a concerned hand on his shoulder. He somehow managed to ignore the pain and open his eyes. A worried face was peering down at him. Y y yeah, I'm fine. This just happens sometimes lately. O overwork, perhaps? You've been so busy lately, you shouldn't push yourself too hard. You're always such a worrier. I'm fine. Come in. Interesting. He opened his mouth as wide as he could and moaned, trying to ease the pain as he let his important guests inside. As he turned his back on his guests, he told himself that it had been a long time since he'd seen them. Or maybe not. It couldn't have been more than two months since they'd last met. Hmm, this is interesting. It only felt long because he wanted to see them so badly. Oh, right. It was nice of you to come by, but I'm streaming. Perfect. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was like, why is it blank? I told you I'm going to do this constantly. What are you doing? Giggle birdie. I mean, not really. You kind of just pooped on my couch a little bit, but I can't quite get it to clean it up right now. So it's going to have to. Great. Anyway. All right. While he was out here, he decided he would cut some cheese for himself and his guests. 
Oh, don't worry about us. No, I can't do that to you guys. Hmm. What's wrong? No, it's nothing. The blade wasn't cutting into the cheese. Hi, what you doing? Welcome back. That's strange, he told himself as he pushed down with more force. He cut into its surface and it made an unpleasant sound he'd never heard before. But no matter how hard he pushed, it wouldn't go further. Is he murdering someone but doesn't realize it? Is he killing himself? Confused, he yanked the knife back and forth like a saw, but it only cut in slightly deeper. There is something weird going on here. It was as if there was something hard inside the cheese. Like a bone in your wrists, I'm just saying. And even though he'd only just taken it out of the fridge, it was slightly warm. Damn it, what's going on with this thing? Irritated, he slammed the handle of the knife against the cheese. But all it did was bash it in a little. He couldn't cut through it. This is some fucked up shit happening right now. God damn it. I'll help you. His guests must have heard the sound because they rushed over. They had another knife. When did they get that out? There's a trick to cutting this thing. I just feel like our guests are shady as fuck, so. They put the knife up against the cheese and began to move it with a practiced hand. It sounds like your work is going well. They smiled at Otani, their voices slightly low. Otani realized that they were trying to keep their voices from being picked up by the streaming microphone and lowered his voice as well. Yeah. He grinned and nodded. His guests had introduced him to a firm that handled advertising space for popular websites, which had been giving him regular work. His reputation had quietly spread throughout the small web advertising industry, and soon he was getting more and more offers. This job's all about predicting trends, so it's perfect for me. I can't lose. Then why do these streams... Then why do these streams? It's hard to say, I guess. I, you could say I'm trying to see how far I can go. That's right. His power wasn't meant to be wasted on jobs that anyone could do. No one's done this before, so I can't ask anybody about it, you know? So I want to do everything I can by myself. Or am I sounding like a show-off? No, it's wonderful, I think. And done. After he'd smacked it a few times, the cheese was a little funny-looking, but the even slices were lined up neatly on the plate. Sorry to make you help like that. It's nothing. Go on. I'll wait until your stream is finished. Thanks. If you want something from the fridge, grab it. Oh, but be quiet. Otani took his cheese back to his seat and saw a flood of comments reading, He's late! And did he log off? What should have only been three minutes had turned into more than fifteen. Otani put a bite of the cheese in his mouth and began to chew loudly. So sorry, I bought this cheese on sale and it's just so incredibly hard. He apologized to the camera, remembering to keep up the act of being poor and starving. And as he hoped, the comments started to come in. Is that all I have to do? I don't have a job! God, oh wow, look at this. This is weird. I heard you have new hobbies. It's always like that, right? Shake, shake. Report of the broadcast will end screen. You trained in Hollywood. This is making me sick. What happened? I'm very worried. Stop it. It's disgusting. I can't read the com- Okay, never mind. I didn't read it fast enough, but you saw. Otani's face took on a confused expression. The comments were strange. He thought there might be something on the camera, but he turned around and saw only his fake poor room. Um, something wrong. The cheese is someone's arm. He spoke to the camera, but the comments still didn't make any sense, and they were coming in faster. Maybe there was a problem with the camera. He reached to his he reached his right hand, hand out toward it. He chopped his hand off. In an instant, his headache was back. Because you trained in Hollywood, right? It was the same pain as before. No, worse. He closed his eyes and jerked forward, banging his head against the desk. But the pain in his head was so bad he didn't even feel it. He tried to hold his head in his hands, but for some reason his right hand wouldn't move. So instead he pushed the other hand up against his temple. It felt squishy. The vein was incredibly swollen and it felt like rubber. Each time he felt his blood pulse through it, there was an unpleasant sensation in his fingers. <laughs> he stamped his feet against the floor, hoping to find some small escape from the pain. But it didn't even get slightly better. It was then that he realized he was crying. He could feel the tears coming from his eyes. The pain was moving there now, too. Ugh. 
Unable to bear it, he opened his eyes. Is he like... Oh. He gasped. Oh my god. Did you guys think is it you reset... Dude, what the fuck are you doing? What a shit show. Do you feel, man? What the... Murmur. It was, this was disgusting. I'm subscribing. I'm unsubscribing. I don't usually... Wow. He gasped. Can you tell what happened? Oh my god. It's so creepy. I'm subscribing to this dude's channel. That's what it says. Do you guys think this is cool? You're sick. It's the same thing going across. Oh my god, I can't read it anymore. He gasped. The whole scene appeared in front of him like some kind of awful magic trick. What's going on? He suddenly heard the sound of something wet dripping onto the floor. His eyes reflexively turned toward it. His right arm was gone at the elbow and the stump was gushing blood. That's why it was really hard to cut that cheese. He was cutting his arm off. I told you! There was a pool of it on the floor and the sound he heard was the new blood splattering onto it and he was eating his own arm. Huh? Otani didn't understand what had happened to him. What was going on? He'd just gone to check on a knock at the door. The pain screamed within him. Murmur, murmur. Any sense of pain in what remained of his right arm was overcome by the pain in his head. He felt nothing from his arm at all, though he saw the blood dripping to the floor. This is his arm right here. What the hell was going on? He blinked and forced his aching eyes to function as he looked around the room. Oh god, and he was eating his arm. <laughs> on top of his desk, he found the rest of his arm. I told- ah! It was sitting on a plate. At first, it looked like it was still in one piece, but it wasn't. Oh! I, I keep waiting for them to flash and turn it to his arm. It was neatly sliced into uniform pieces. Each piece was about a centimeter wide, and the slices moved neatly toward his fingers. They sat upon the plate in roughly his arm's original shape. Miraculously, he saw there was no blood on the tip of his index finger. I'm so glad they just keep showing it looking like a cheese log instead of an actual arm, because, like, <laughs> gross. He still didn't understand that it was really his own arm. But sheer disgust at what he saw caused him to leap out of his chair. What was this? What kind of prank was this? Uh, uh! The contents of his stomach flooded into his mouth. He vomited. The pink fluid splashed against the desk. Okay, I'm gonna puke now. Vomit and spit just may- or, uh. He saw something solid in the middle of- the oh god. It was a thumb. Ah! It was covered in bite marks, saliva, oh, and stomach acid. But horribly, he remembered it. Oh god, I'm gonna gag. What? When did he put that into his mouth? In his pain-filled mind, he suddenly heard a sound he'd never heard before. Each time he heard the sound, the pain in his head got worse. He turned towards the camera, hoping for an answer to what was happening. But of course, there was none to be found. The screen was still filling with comments, but his eyes were too filled with tears for him to read them. As the whole world turned red, Otani didn't even realize that his lips were turning purple. His lips had turned purple from lack of oxygen, but were stained red with blood from his severed thumb, which he had chewed himself. As he tried to fight the pain, he began to fall unconscious, and tears fell from his eyes. This is going to be disturbing. Trigger warning, I guess. <laughs> the tears seemed pink to him. Otani was weeping blood. Yet yeah, I'm wondering if they poisoned his arm. He died, still facing the camera. Well, that was quick. After all that. His guests watched the chain of events unfold, then silently headed for the door. Just before they left the room, is it me and my friends? Or are we the secret killers and we just don't know? That would be kind of cool, too. I mean, you knew he was going to die. Kind of knew. Right there. Goodbye. They said as if nothing at all were wrong and shut the door. Well, this is an interesting first part, isn't it? God, what the hell? Six, 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 extra saucy. Talk about getting followers on board. Going back to the usual stream. On board, go back to the usual stream. Wow. Fuck yo. September 19th, 2015, Friday night. That was the s seventh, right? Phew. Momone Takayanagi? Yeah. Momone Takayanagi had finished her concert. Like always, she stayed behind to help put away the instruments. 
She even helped clean up the audience seats, even though that was the concert hall's job. So, like, we're getting straight into murder number two. Interesting. How many murders are there? Only after all of that was done could she take a break. There wasn't much time left before her solo street concert, but she still had to help anyway. She'd always been like that. Even if it wasn't her responsibility, she couldn't help but get involved. It was like in middle school when one of her friends who wasn't as good at studying asked her for test notes. Or in high school when a girl she knew asked her how to make Valentine's chocolate for a boy she really liked. She'd stayed up so many nights... Oh, she'd stayed up so many nights, her own test grades were worse than her friends, and she didn't have any... She didn't even have anyone to give chocolate to on Valentine's Day. In the end, it was the other person's responsibility. Not hers, but... She a doormat. Basically, I'm just a huge wuss. Mamone Takayanagi was, at heart, scared of not doing everything she could, even if everything wasn't her responsibility. The concert today was another big success. Sure, it was a tiny room that could only fit in 150 people or so, standing room only. But tickets were 3,000 yen, high for a band with an amateur vocalist like her, and they still sold out instantly. It was bizarre how excited the crowd was. She'd heard sobs during the ballad, and during one of the high-tempo songs, the audience had stood up all the way to the back row. This is impossible. She felt a chill and hugged herself tightly. It's not that her band wasn't popular. They'd started out on the... Ni oh, the Nikonia. Nikonia seems to be like, anyway, sang it category, and it kept going by doing covers of popular anime songs. Well, I'd be there! Anyway. Oh, I forgot to see what W was. Hold on. W was... That was back in, uh, what's-his-faces, Otani, so net slang. Ahem. <clears throat> w, net slang, a Japanese counterpart of the English lol, short for warai, which means laughter. It's said to find its origin in certain non-Japanese online games, which only allow for the use of the English alphabet. By putting W's in the middle or at the end of a phrase, a user can indicate that they are laughing. Often used on Atchan and Nikonia. 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 I don't know why my brain can't like... I, I felt like I said that weird, but I think I said it fine. Anyway. And often used to indicate mocking or derisive laughter. Miyashiro? Miyashiro believes a person's use of W is a sign that they are of low intelligence, and he refuses to use it himself. Huh. Sang it! A category tag on the Nikonia video site. Category tags are genres defined by the site's administrators, such as anime, gaming, and sports, that are used to classify the videos that users upload. Sang it, as the name suggests, is a genre where the uploader sings a song in the video. There are many different types of sang it songs, such as original songs, covers of existing songs, or even songs with lyrics added to what was originally instrumental music. Sang it's relationship to Vocaloid genre has helped it expand its popularity with the younger generation to the point where there are now even books and events dedicated to the genre. In 2015, it was one of the most popular genres on Nikonia, and many people have turned pro after uploading a Sang It video. There you go. It helped that her face, which had earned her the nickname Scarecrow in school, could look really good when she wore makeup. And if all of them put on ridiculous costumes and acted like idiots, some people would enjoy that. Videos of their concerts and performances pulled a decent number of views online. But Takayanagi noticed... The vast majority of the people looking at the videos were people who'd come to her concerts. People who'd experienced that insane intensity were going back to the videos to try and feel it again. And Takayanagi knew that they probably wouldn't feel even 1% of it. It's just impossible. The ticket prices and audience sizes were one thing, but the strangest thing to her was their eyes. Their eyes pierced right through her, unblinking. They were like pets, totally dependent on their master. That's a weird way to think about it. Teen. No, no. What is that? That says that? That? Love. I'm reading this shit on the background. Ska. There's a skull and a guitar. Whatever the fuck that thing is over there on the left. Under teen. Oh, look at this teen. Anyway. The meaning of the lyrics began to take over their lives, and they never even questioned it. There has to be something wrong with my voice. When she first realized that this was happening, she tried to quiet, uh, tried to quit the band. 
Even if she couldn't, she at least wanted to stop doing the live shows where people heard her directly. So, like, that guy thinks he, like, what's his name? Why can't I remember his name? Otani was like, oh, I can see the future. Or I can predict shit. And she thinks, and then, like, she's like, I got a magical voice that can possess people. Maybe that's why they're killing people. We're killing these people with weird fucking supernatural powers. We had, a, like, the, it's like a government conspiracy. We, like, accidentally, like, this weird reactor blew up. Under Shibuya, I'm gonna like clean up the mess, and now there's like mutants out there, and we gotta like. <laughs> Probably. No. Yeah. But the others around her wouldn't let that happen. Your voice is amazing, they would tell her. They forced her to keep singing, even as the concerts began to terrify her. Takayanagi tried to get out of it, but in the end, she kept giving in. She owed her fellow band members for getting a, pain, a plain, dull girl like her into music. And for a while, part of her managed to have fun. But in the end, Takayanagi lacked the tiny bit of courage needed to break out of the cycle. <sighs> she forced herself to get up and head toward the street concert, which she didn't really want to do. Hmm? She'd received an email. She read it slowly. No way. She almost dropped her smartphone. She read it again and again, trying to control her shaking hands. It was nothing special, just a simple message about one of the songs she'd made. I'm assuming maybe there's only going to be two murders, because in the voice things, it was like man, woman. And he started out man, she started out woman, so. Good song, keep it up. No way. Takayanagi tried to stop the tears, but couldn't. The band would get too many messages like this to count, especially after concerts. She knew it was rude, but to be honest, she was sick of them. But this email address wasn't for her band. It was one for a site where she had anonymously uploaded original songs. In other words, whoever sent this message hadn't come to her concerts. They'd never heard her voice live or felt its strange power. But they'd still said they liked her song. Really? Wiping away tears that wouldn't stop, she quickly wrote a response. It makes me really happy. Thank you. Even after she sent it, she kept crying for a while. She hadn't cried this much since the earthquake. And then she stood up. Stupid things. She took her costumes for the day's concert out of her bag, balled them up and threw them in the trash. It was a white-capped outfit, worn by some angel character in some anime. Certain fans really loved it, but she didn't dare care about it at all. But she didn't care about it at all. Sorry. She took a wet towel off a nearby table and violently wiped away her makeup. I think I'm okay with being a scarecrow. She was never wearing another cape or putting on makeup. Did I say capped and it was caped? Caped? It was caped, wasn't it? Wow. Anyway. Ah, I can't read. Uh, or putting on makeup that looked like an anime character again. Never, she said aloud. She realized she was more excited than she'd ever been before. Yeah, probably not, because you're probably about to die. Inns. All need. Clap. Punk. Blue. Stay. Indeed. It's supposed to be peace, I guess. Music. I'm just reading the shit on the back. And then she started to realize what she wanted to do. I guess I could just leave Shibuya. I'm sure things are going to get messy here. What would happen if she said she was going to quit the band? It caused trouble for a lot of people, definitely. Her band was scheduled to play in the Restoration Festival. But even so... Yeah, well, you're going to be dead, so it's fine. She never wanted to sing at another concert. I shouldn't use the street where I've done shows or my fans will see me. Wait, I'll be fine with this face. She laughed and kissed her smartphone. Oh, wow. This is so much fun. She couldn't wait to get home and start fiddling with her music. Over the web, she couldn't really share her music with others. As long as they weren't hearing her voice live, it would be fine. If she just played a recording from a speaker, for example... Wait, so it was... She couldn't went on the web. She could really share. Sorry, okay, I did read that wrong. If she just played a recording from a speaker, for example, I got a small speaker in my house, don't I? That's right. She'd leave Shibuya, and when she had a few more songs, she could record them and play them at a street concert. That speaker was small enough that she could fit it under her clothes to fool people. It would be rude to do the same song every time, so each time she'd re-record it at home. Knock, 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 knock. It's the same pattern. There was a knock on the door. One of the staffers, maybe? Oh, jeez. I'm coming! She smiled and answered them. 
Now that she'd thrown away her clothes, her bag was lighter than she'd ever imagined it could be. That lightness made her think about the future. She was happy. Not for long. Knock, 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 knock. Coming! Taki and Nagi happily danced toward the door, completely ignorant of what was on the other side. Oh, we don't even get to... It's just like, she died. Figure it out. Interesting. Oh, no, it's still the same night. Okay, we still have a few minutes, so... September 19th, 2015, Friday night. Shortly after she finished, she was walking through Shibuya. Oh, okay. So, they showed what happened with Otani. Like, he answered the door, he talked to the people, and then they left. And then now we don't... Like, we don't need to see that. It's like, she answered the door, they did some kind of shit to her. You know. She had a limp and dragged one leg behind her as if it were injured. Cause it, oh god, she chopped her leg. Her bangs were unnaturally long. Most of her face was covered by them. She wore a dark colored dress that seemed to melt into the night, and above it, a bright red cardigan. Her chest, arms, and legs were almost completely covered. Despite the fact that the night was still warm, she wore gloves, as if it were a sin to show any skin at all. Maybe because they pe she peeled her own skin off. <laughs> Oh, sorry. She ran into a couple coming out of a hotel and staggered slightly. But she didn't even look at the people she ran into. Oh, look, there she is. Her hair, like, that is not normal hair length. She looked down and disappeared into the streets of Shibuya. At least Otani got a face. She basically just got a wig. What was that? Man, talk about creepy. Hey, did you see her face? Huh? Why? Maybe she doesn't have one. It was so weird. What was that? Those eyes were so weird. Digital narrative. Digital native? Okay, what's this? Quick saved. Oh, look at that. The game auto saved for me. What's happening? There is an anime in this. I have never watched it. It's been in my... Oh, look, it's us! Takaru Mia. Miyashiro. Oh, that's when it said... I was like... like am I supposed to know who? Miyashiro. 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 Whatever. When we said that in the W thing, I forgot that was our last name. Anyway, <gasps> I'm going to stop here. It's a little under time, but I feel like uh, this would be, we already quick saved, but yeah, I feel like this is a good place to stop before we get too much into what we are doing and being ourselves and all that shit. So yeah, anyway, uh, so I, this has been interesting so far, so this is going to be fun. So um. I mean, I've had this game for a long ass time, but it was one of those like every once in a while I'd look and I'd be like, eh, I don't know. So I'm glad that I put it up on a poll and you guys on that follow me on Twitter voted on it. Well, OK. Some people voted on it. Like, well, you know, I, I put up polls and like six people vote. But um, yeah, because I've had some games for a while that I'm like, all right, which game do we play? Like, I don't know. And I just I didn't know what we were going to do. I had ideas, but I was like, I'll let you guys decide. So, yeah. So I'm glad we finally got to play it, because I don't know if I would have, when I would have picked it up on my own. Um, honestly, it got thrown up in a vote, because I was like, I have a thumbnail already ready for it, so I don't have to look. I don't have to think too hard, because we've got like 700 games in the backlog. That's all I'm saying, so. But anyway, yeah, uh, I will, it's interesting so far, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.